the best way to deal with someone who's trying to put you down is to show that it doesn't affect you and to not to give them attention. If you give them attention and talk back, it shows that they got to you. People will give you shit over anything and how you choose to deal with that will determine a lot of things in your life. You can either drag you down or you can empower it to build yourself up. In today's video, I will go over this. First thing we need to realize is that there's two forms of criticism. There's constructive criticism and there's people just trying to put you down. Constructive criticism is when your friends are insulting you or criticizing you over something, but they're doing it in the effort of trying to make you better. Like telling you, you should have talked to that girl, or you should lose some weight. They're, they want to help you and they're going to give you shit because that's how men motivate each other. If your friend wants you to do something that will make you a better person, he will insult you, he will criticize you but realize that's to make you better. It's to make you a better person. And just people trying to put you down is that they feel inadequate to you, so they're going to try to put you down. It's easier for them to put you down and make you feel bad than it is for them to build themselves up and become a better person. They don't feel comfortable being inadequate compared to you. They feel that there's a social status difference between you and them. They feel like you are above them and you are they are below, so they're trying to bring you down with them instead of trying to build themselves up. If it's constructive criticism, like when a friend tells you, bro, what do you think you're doing? You should go talk to her. That's your friend trying to look out for you and make you a better person. Take notice of your friend's criticism and listen to their advice as they're just trying to motivate you. But when it comes to people trying to put you down, the only reason for this is because they feel inadequate to you. An example of this is someone being like, Bro, you fucking suck. You're a fucking idiot. Blatant criticism, just trying to put you down for the heck of it. These people feel like they are less compared to you, and that makes them uncomfortable. A mean person is never a happy person. You can tell people who are happy, they never criticize anybody. They only give you shit if they're trying to make you a better person. You can see loads of these examples your friends who are just trying to empower you to become a better person they are the happy ones the friends who constantly give you shit for no reason behind it those are unhappy friends they're jealous of you and they're trying to even the playing ground to make to make you guys feel more even so you just shouldn't give these guys any attention you should try to help them out if you can try to help them become a better person if you're into all that helping other people yeah when someone insults you that's actually a good method of dealing with it when someone insults you be like is everything all right are you okay be like and they ask why they're like why'd you insult me there has to be something wrong going on with you and that will shut them up and you can also benefit them the best way to deal with someone who's trying to put you down is to show that it doesn't affect you and to not to give them attention. If you give them attention and talk back, it shows that they got to you and they have power over you to continue. You guys need to start viewing your attention as a weapon. View your attention as a way of rewarding people in order to get what you want. If they do something you don't like, you cut your attention. But if they do something you like, you give them your attention. Here, an example of this is your mom makes you breakfast, being real kind and all that stuff. You, you'd go up to your mom, you'd hug her and thank her, giving her your attention as a reward for something that you like. But another example, a guy calls you a loser, and as a response, you ignore him and just agree with him, limiting your attention they are giving him. The people, when they're trying to put you down, they're trying to influence you, become a lower person, they influence you. And the way they influence you is to get your attention first. The way ads influence you is by first grabbing your attention with all these like colorful shit and then showing you the product and influencing your decision to buy it. Same way with every most things in life. Uh, criticism is no different. But back to it, um, agreeing with somebody, if you agree with them, so if you just agree with him, you agree with him even if it's not true. And that takes all his power away. You just be like, someone insults you, you're a fucking loser. You're like, sure. He's, he's trying to make you feel bad, but if you agree, then he can't really... You guys are on the same page. You're like, sure, I'm a loser. What about it? Like, uh, yeah, you're a loser. Just agree with them. If you want to get back at them, 
Here's a cheeky psychological hack you can implement. When someone deliberately calls you out and insults you, you can act like you didn't hear it and ask them to repeat themselves. And then once they repeat themselves, you act like you don't understand the joke. An example of this, someone says, what the fuck is wrong with you? You just be like, wait, what'd you say? And then they repeat themselves, you're like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Or something. You'd be like, what do you mean? You see, you can see how that's gonna take all their power. They can't get to you, they can't get your attention. It's deliberately insulting their attempt to try to put you down. It's putting, framing them. You didn't hear it the first time, and now you're asking them to repeat themselves. Now you have the tools to empower yourself and to never take criticism from anybody. Okay, thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment, 